come over here, turn power on, low. Oh no, look at the color. That's just deliciousness, homeboy. He really stirred that thing while the blender was still on? Safety! What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. Get them in there. You get your Skittles in here. You get in some more like candy rings, apple peach rings, you know? You come behind with a little bit of gummies, okay? All the How many types of candies are you putting in this thing? This in the top of a drink container. Gummy worms, homie. Ooh, oh, yeah. Smell. Delicious, right? What is he trying to do? Why is he putting all these different types of candies together? And you're gonna put in a whole bag of Skittles, okay? To someone what? hungry. You're gonna put that dirty bag that your hand just touched? Why did you open a bag of Skittles and you put the Skittles on that container and now you're putting a bag of unopened Skittles? What's the logic? Why would you do that? And now you're coming in with a little bit of pineapple, buddy. Now you come behind, you got your pink lemonade vodka. <laughs> you know, now you come behind that with some white rum. <laughs> Does he know how to use a pour spout? It's upside down. And if you're gonna pour this much, why even have a pour spout? Just take the pour spout out and use a measuring cup or just pour it directly into the blender. We coming in with some cream of coconut, okay? That's what this white stuff is. And it's damn delicious, okay? Delicioso. You ain't taste sweetness till you taste this. It's super sweet. <laughs> you really? You think that's gonna be more sweet than the... Because I would assume that that bowl of candy that you just made earlier would have plenty of sweetness to it. This right here, homeboy, this strawberry lemonade, okay? This is tropical. Tropical. Color's gonna be nice. Yeah, look at the color, look at the color on that, right? It's food coloring. If you just want the color, just use food coloring. We might need it a little pinker, so I can hit it with a little pink food coloring, you know? And he uses food coloring anyways. Why didn't you just use food coloring in the beginning? Why didn't you use that earlier if you already had it? Come over here, turn power on, low. Oh no, look at the color. That's just deliciousness, homeboy. He really stirred that thing while the blender was still on? Safety! Also, why would you do that? You could damage a spoon and you have shards of metal that just goes into the drink. Pineapple in the bottom, you know, just so you have something to think about. Now we come in. With our pinkness. Look at this. You already put pineapples in this. Why are you putting more pineapple on the bottom of the drink? And you cover her like so, right? Now you put your straw right down the center like so, right? Make sure nothing drops out. Oh, I'm nervous. And now I just come through with my straw. He doesn't even follow his own rules. Like how hard is it to make a drink without making a mess? Also, there was no reason to make that part, the garnish first, when you could have made this drink first and put this lid upside down and then put the candies on top. Why did you do that? Now the straw is pushing everything out. You see? Okay. What? <laughs> if you're gonna do that, why did you put the straw, he just making it up as it's going along. Like why did you pull the straw out like that? And now the straw on the side is gonna be wet. It's gonna make the candies even more stickier because the sugars. Like, why is he doing it this way? <laughs> you, wow. see? you see? And he picks up the Skittle from the dirty counter and puts it back into the drink. This makes no sense. Why did he do that? <laughs> see? And then you could come in and add in little fillings. If you're gonna... Why so many extra steps? You could have did the garnish last and it would have been a lot simpler and it would have accomplished an even better result without making a mess. A little bit more gummies, because gummies, gummies tell the tale. Yeah, why are you adding more candies to this when you could have just done it all in one step? Now we following that up with some whipped cream vodka. You ever now we coming behind that with some orange rum, all right? Is this actually orange? I don't know. Now we have some orange juice, which is actually yellow, okay. Why are you adding orange flavored rum 
and now you're putting orange juice in it. You're adding the same flavors over and over again. This is redundant. Now watch this, watch this gorgeous little liquid come out here. Ooh, you're so pretty. Of course, it's the tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna make a mess. This is the basic bartending technique to strain. Why does it have to be so messy? Come behind that with a little whipped cream. Oh Lord, this is the good stuff. You see how whippy this is? Mm-hmm. Now, it's, that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what whipped cream out of a can looks like. Then I can hit it with a little sprinkles. Lord have mercy, this is gorgeous. It is so cute. Of course, tipsy bartender, so of course he's gonna make a mess. This is such a small glass, but let's see, let's see what we can do. Can we do something like that? And then I can prop it up with some whipped cream. Whipped cream is my crazy glue. And there you have it, the big... No straw? How are you supposed to drink this? Where are you gonna put your mouth? Cream sickle. She is cute and creamy, homeboy. And full of calories. Okay, we got pineapples, oranges, strawberries. Ooh, yeah. Guys, this Ooh. perfect. This perfect. You got them. Why is he making... Is he making a punch bowl in a small cooler? That thing can barely put a six-pack of beer. Okay, so we got our vodka base. We come behind, hit it with a little bit of coconut rum. Vodka and coconut rum? Why? Vodka is very neutral in flavor, if anything. Like, why would you mix vodka with coconut rum? It's gonna stretch the coconut rum and make it taste diluted. Now, we come in behind this with a little bit of lemonade, okay? This is for this fresh. Fresh. Fresh lemonade. No, that's, that's not fresh lemonade. That's Minute Maid lemonade. That's from Concentrate. It's on the ingredients label. Now I can stop there. I ain't gonna put all the lemonade in. So Calypso lemonade, okay? Ocean blue lemonade. So this is a blue lemonade guy. What? Why do you put regular lemonade and then blue lemonade? Why are you putting two types of lemonade into this? Get a little bit of blue in there. Oh, look at the color. It's food coloring! That's all it is. It's food coloring. If you want to put two types of lemonade, one of it being blue, just to get it blue, why not just put regular lemonade and just food coloring? Because that's what you just did. You don't need two types of lemonade and one of it is blue. Now we can follow that homeboy with a little bit of blue bubblegum soda. Check that out. Blue bubble, bubblegum bubble soda. What flavor profile is he trying to get? You have coconut, blueberries, and now you have bubblegum. What is he trying to make this taste like? Soda. soda. Yeah, this adding like a nice... It adding a bubblegum flavor to this bad boy, but you don't need to use this. And don't tell me he's not leaving any space for ice. Another room temperature punch by the tipsy bartender. Are you kidding me? Any blue drink will be fine, okay? I can hit this with my boy, the blue curacao. You ain't got to, but it helps. You know, you just drop in a little bit of blue, make it bluer. If you wanted to make it more blue, just put food coloring. That's all it is. Every blue ingredient here is blue because of food coloring. And we're good. Blue. My little gummies. Of course, it's the tipsy bartender, so of course there's gonna be candy. Okay, you get the whole point, okay? Now remember, now this is your date, okay? You got that special someone. I got you, okay? This one's for you. Seriously, no ice. You're gonna drink that room temperature jungle juice with no ice? So fine. And you touch the outside of the cup and you use that as a scoop as well. So now you got the punch all dirty. Imagine going through multiple servings of that. You know how many hands, whatever they touch, especially swimming pool water is really dirty. This thing is not sanitary. Like how hard is it to get a ladle? Jungle juice, perfectly blue, sexy, fun, delicious. Okay, you want some of this. All right, and now I got my little case of stuff, good to go. You can just pick it up and like, it's like a lunchbox. Yeah, drink responsibly, don't drink and dry. Um, that's not designed for that, it's gonna spill. It's not water sealed, it's not designed to have liquids like that. It's supposed to just carry ice cans and bottles in there. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on a comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.